Welcome to another webisode of Outdoor Cast Iron Cooking. I'm Dean, the fog crawler. Hi, I'm Joni, the teardrop nanny. We're here today across from Tunnel Flat, which has Six Rivers National Forest river access. We're at the Francis B. Matthews Day Use Rest Area. Today I'll be filming a very easy recipe. Easy hash. Stay tuned. Here are the ingredients in today's pantry box for this easy hearty hash. We have potatoes, cooked roast beef, beef broth, butter, onion, salt and pepper. Six easy ingredients if you count the seasonings as one. I have a quarter cup of cube butter that I'm melting in this 12 inch skillet. This happens to be one of Dean's favorite pieces of cast iron. Fog crawler, what is it? That's a 12 inch Indian head wapak hollowware. So once this butter gets melted, everything else will start to get added. Again, I would use a 12 inch skillet Mount I'm making today is going to serve about six people. If you do it for a 10 inch, cut all of the ingredients in half. Now that this butter is melted, this started out as a 6.84 pound oven roasted bottom round piece of meat. I'm going to add in four cups of it. You notice that it's kind of a pink color, which is going to be good because that's going to tell me when my hash is done. Next, I have six cups of cubed potatoes. It's important to get all of your cuts uniform so that they cook evenly. I figure usually about one potato a cup. If I have a medium size, these were pretty large, so I went with five of them. Now you can see why I want that 12 inch skillet. I could have brought my 20 inch. <laughs> well, we only need this one. We're not going to feed the entire area here. Or the 14 inch. I'm putting in diced onion, three quarters of a cup. I started out with a 14 and a half ounce can of deep broth. I'll need about a cup and a half and I'll put that in. That's going to give my liquid. That turns the heat down a little bit there. Again, I'm cooking this over a medium heat right now. And lastly, I have salt and pepper. I have one teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And I'm gonna leave some other seasoning on the table for when it's finished if people wanna add more. Once I get this stirred around a bit, I'm gonna cover it. I'll let it simmer about 25 to 30 minutes, simmering until those potatoes are tender. And then when I lift the lid, you should notice that the meat has changed a bit of color. This hash has been simmering about 25 minutes. Time to activate the smell vision And it is looking delicious. If I cook it longer, it would thicken up, but it smells good and I'm sure it's gonna taste delicious. Again, a great way to use cooked leftover roast beef it's an easy meal to prepare, and you can have it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I'm going to cook up some eggs for Dean. This is a 10 and a half inch Wagner 1891. Again, if you want to cook the hash in a smaller skillet, take and only put in two cups of cooked roast beef and three cups of the potatoes. So there you go. Pretty soon he likes his over medium and he'll have them with the hash. And I know you like pepper. Say when. 
That's good. And how about some salt? Thank you. Well, why don't you hand me your plate? Okay, Dean, are you ready for your eggs? I'm ready. Thank there you, you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Mm. Well, that's the eggs. Now you have to tell me about the hash. Mm. Mm. I think that uh, mm. sauce thickened up. Mm. That's wonderful. Oh, good. It looks like it. What a way to use leftover roast beef, huh? We hope you enjoyed today's webisode. Francis Matthews, more affectionately and locally known as Moose, was the co-founder of Trinity Village, which is in the town of nearby Hawkins Bar. He was a very civic-minded individual and did a lot for the community. Remember, it's all about eating good and great outdoors. And until the next time, happy trails to you.